Yeah, I sent him back after who knows how long. I don't know. I think it was a week. Yeah, I'm really being inconsistent. You're being inconsistent. I know I'm being inconsistent. Okay, um, moving along here. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm just a little confused here. Terry and Broly did this episode since I pre recorded this, like, you know, 30 months ago. I've just been that bad at this, yeah. But I didn't manage to pre record a bunch of new episodes. Yes, and there's this crazy lady, uh, all the way to the final boss, which is pretty cool. Meaning that after I do voice all these videos, I can get the post game stuff in, and then we'll be done with this. Of course, post game stuff is going to run for another decent amount of videos concerning Mount Battle and Battle CDs, which I need to get. Uh, and then the post game story, which I have never done before, which honestly doesn't sound like a good idea for me LPing it, but whatever. And but it's not that complicated. You know, it's basically just complete around this new stadium opens up, which I've always had trouble with, but I don't know, I think you can do it this time around. And, um, yeah, there's a chime echo, and then basically go around and talk to people. And you get a lucky egg at the end, which is cool, you know, very useful. And masquerade. And there goes that survivor. Yes, I'll be, um, you know, well, I, sort of, I guess. I'll, I will be telling you when the boss shows up. So you know when to head back and heal, yeah, because these bosses do, I meant if you don't know where they are, they will be nipping in the bud, and of course the air conditioner turns on. <sighs> Whatever. I don't I, I really haven't checked to see how annoying that sound is, but and I guess it's that it's so loud that you can barely hear me over it, and then you are screaming to the high heaven saying how much you hate my air conditioner. Yeah. Shelters and purification chamber, ooh, cool. Um, this guy's like having a seizure in his sleep. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I was younger, I played that. I always thought like, he was making waves with his mind as he sleeps or something. I don't know. It, that was weird. Anyway, this guy says something pretty interesting. He, he explains everything. Yes. Right to his waves. Apparently, they're making their own artificial waves, meaning that the. Um, their storm they're making is probably using like Shadow Lugia or something, and they're actually making um, the giant waves or whirlpool generator for some reason on the second floor of the building. Yeah, would it make sense to put it on like the sub level? You know? So it's in the water. I'm not gonna battle you just yet. I'm gonna go in this room, open this chest. What do you have? You have uh, three hyper potions. Yeah, they're really, really, you know, it's like the final area of the Paper Mario games. They'll be throwing, literally be throwing. Healing items at you. Yeah. Like right before the final boss, and if that was in your door, they give you, you know, an ultra shroom and a jam and jelly. It's like, hey, if you need to heal up halfway through the shot, halfway through the fight, hint, hint. You know. Which always annoys me. It's freaking, yeah, I don't know. That's a later LP. By later, I mean sooner than you think. Maybe even sooner than you're thinking now. I don't know. I'm hinting. Yeah. Of course, like any of you who actually watch this, geez, I don't think any of my subscribers actually watch my videos. If you do, leave a comment. They make me, you know, feel better about myself. Even if, you know, it, it last one I got was, you know, some guy apparently was, hasn't, wasn't paying attention for the whole video. To admit, though, I know some of your attention spans don't really run for 14 minutes, which back then was a Ruby episode, actually, so it didn't run for, like, 7 to 10 minutes, you know? But still, I, I think you could get the gist of it, you know. I don't know, it, it, this annoys me how stupid people are on the internet. I do the same things too, you know, you type the comments, you don't think your way through, you just need to ask the question until, you know, you think five minutes later down the road, it's like, oh, well, with four seconds of common sense, I would have figured that out. Eh. I don't think this guy has, sh yeah, I haven't, whole floor, no shadow Pokemon. What is up with that? Yeah. Anyway, wait, 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 hold on, something happened, someone did something that ended with something, wait, here we go, yes, shrink, yeah, I love the generation 5 evolution scenes, yes, you become Yes, a muck. Our, probably our final evolution while we've seen this LP. You know, all three of them. Yeah. Yes, evolved into muck. Yay. 
Yeah, whole Pokemon LP, only three evolutions. Wait, no, I forgot about that guy. I thought I just battled that guy, and whatever. The guy by the elevator, that's what I was thinking of. But I think he has a shadow Pokemon there. So yeah, they'll be, like, I think he has, like, one or two, so yeah. Not a lot compared to the last floor, but, eh, whatever. Anyway, I talked to you, middle of the blah, 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 don't care. Yes, I am evil, if you haven't noticed. My name is Litnar. Some call me Litnar. Yeah, I just watched um, Monty Python the Holy Grail, like, you know, a couple hours ago. Yeah, it was good, then the end ended. Yes. I seriously thought, okay, now this comedy movie it ended pretty funny, but still. You know, I don't know, maybe it's some British humor thing. No, I didn't show him bring up late all. Curse me, my bad editing. Uh, anyone you Kangaskhan, I believe is a shadow of Kangaskhan. Yes. Yeah, Shadow King is con. Um, pretty good. Yeah, he, he can make it through the final boss uh, post game. Yeah, I know. I don't really recommend him because you know you get two pseudo legendaries. I suppose the one. Oh, actually, no, it was two last time. It was Metagross and Tyranitar. Now it's yeah. I don't know. It's I've been looking at the Generation Five Pokemon. And it looks like the, the whole Uber is just gonna be tipped on its head. We we have a new Slack King. You know, it's a rock and flying type. That is actually pretty easy to get, I suppose, to slacking, but it, it still has Tront, or whatever the move is. You know, there's Kangaskhan. Um, then we have a couple new pseudo legendaries, and yeah, it's insane. Bayonet, it's a shadow. For some reason, show that either. Man, my editing was off that day. Yeah. yeah anyway, there's Bayonet. Ooh, and here comes the thumb puzzle after this. Pretty good, the. Yeah. Yeah, this song stuck in my head. Not for Mind of Python, though. That'd be pretty funny, though. Yeah, maybe Knights of the Round Table. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Kangaskhan, Bayonet. So, yeah, there was two Shadow Pokemon on this floor, I believe, like four last time. I don't know. It's been so long. My short term memories. Ooh, look, 2007. This game came after. Came, you know, before that. I don't know. Anyway, um, we saved it. Now it is healed up just because I felt like it. You know, there's no healing station before the next fight. Not gonna be a boss fight though, just, you know, I'll just head back and heal. Yeah, anyway, here you get the really weird thing. Okay, you get an email, it's from Iagan in Agate Village. And you get neither one. Yes, I'm sorry, early in my mistake. I'm also spellings, embarrassed by these mistakes, and it cuts off. Yeah. Those serve absolutely no purpose. So I'm pretty sure if you go back and talk to them, you can you'll start sending more emails. They'll be like once I haiku poem or something. I don't know. It's yeah, nothing important. You know, I seriously thought he was like in trouble from Cipher the first time. Oh my God, E again, the guy that's totally out Ash. <laughs> yeah. Revives. Yeah, I got revives. Yeah, see, they're throwing the items at you. I don't know why I said literally. I can't think of a... I don't know, for some reason it seems like something a Paper Mario would do. The uh, you know, final area, they would literally be throwing heal items at you. Like, um... Hmm. Eh, I don't know. I can't think of anything. I haven't played Paper Mario, uh, Super Paper Mario, because I am not that big of a Wii gamer. And yeah, I know some of you are now going to, you know, write some raging comments. But at least it's a comment. Yes, it makes you feel special. I got a comment. Yeah. I lost the LP on it, but I can't think of any situation where they, you know... I guess they have to pull another um, Toy Time, whatever it is. Yeah, for some reason, I'm thinking Toy Time Galaxy and Paper and Super. And Mario Galaxy is that one area from the first Paper Mario game. I can't think of what it's called. No, um, the Shy Guys Toy Chest or something like that. I can't remember. Someone leave a comment tell me what it is. I know one of you must know it to all of... You know, zero of you watching this video. Was that failed math? Yeah. Whatever, yeah, I know that one they, you know, they give you healing items, but it's not really thrown at you. Yeah, whatever. I, my favorite series is still Thousand Year Door. I, you don't have to play Super Paper Mario, I just watch the LP of it, and I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan of platformers. That's one thing I never really got in the Mario games. Yeah. 
I haven't played Super Mario RPG, which I know it's like a sin among hardcore Nintendo gamers, which I'm not one of those. I just like Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that in my, you know, I'll be on my... If I do make a... Well, I probably won't. You know, I'm talking about like, some sort of eHarmony profile or something. Interest Pokemon. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Yes, you're hanging high and tough, man. I thought it was gonna melt waiting. Well, I would rather have you be melting anyway. Yeah, for some reason he they put the blocks there to slow me down, I guess, but they knew I was gonna solve the puzzles, but a guy there on guard. So it's like When he inevitably solves this puzzle, make sure you try to take him out to your own. I didn't even heal. Oh. Oh, I remember my post recording. I, I played this and like Got to this point, like, oh crap, I didn't, I just walked all the way back to the healing machine and back, didn't I? Which I literally did, yeah. Wild Bloom, Black Hales. Yeah, I can see him taking a bunch of hits. Monkeys now has special defense off the wall, so I'm not too worried about him. Yeah, there's a Magmar, ooh, Shadow Magmar. There's a Pinsir, and let me guess, Shadow Pinsir. Okay, now here comes probably the best move ever. Okay, now, you have a Pokemon Shadow Half. Now, I'm pretty sure I explained before that Shadow Half, um, you lower, you half HP of all Pokemon on the field. Yes. Now, it makes it very, very useful for catching other Shadow Pokemon. You'll see that in a minute. Um, Shadow Storm to weaken it. I don't know, whatever. Just do something, Hypno. Okay. Let's watch this. You use Shadow Half. Yeah, they're all paralyzed, meaning you already get that. See, so he cuts his HP in half. Cuts Pinsir's HP in half. He cuts his kind of... I don't know, never mind. What I just said was null and void. Yeah. Cuts your, um, amount of... Not your total HP, like, you know, 107. It doesn't do that amount of damage, so it's based on how much HP you have. So it's, um, 51 will round down to 25 HP. You get the idea? Like you have 100, it'll be 50, then 25, then it'll round down to 12, then 6, then 3, then 1, then I don't think, I think it'll faint by that point. Because yeah. it rounds down, how half a hit point would come um, 0. That'll be the effective. I'm pretty sure it faints you though. I know, I've never really done that before. Someone leave a comment and tell me. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to use the item, we're going to catch these guys. Yeah, so that, that's one very, very useful thing about Shadow Half. Paralyze them both, put them to sleep or both, or something, and then use Shadow Half, and they're already in the good catching range. So let's catch Pinsir, hopefully. Uh, shake that Ultra Ball. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, for some reason I have these weird songs stuck in my head. I don't know. Shadow Rave, oh, even more weird songs. Yeah. Old dance songs, I don't know. Uh, weird, I guess, won't necessarily be the definition of it, but some you would say weird. So you may have to get some, you know, vinegaram to explain this. Okay, Magmar, are you gonna cut? Please? Yes, thank you. Yeah, it looks like this video is wrapping up nicely. We got four Shadow Pokemon, I believe. Yes, right? Thank you very much. I'm not Elvis Presley, even though some of you might think that, which by some of you, I mean none of you since no one watches my videos, except for apparently, you know, some weird people on the internet, yeah. Anyway, um, listen up for this episode, I'll go heal up and we'll continue this lava tomb of death and destruction, shadow Pokemon apparently, I don't know. See you next time. <laughs>